Hi, welcome to my channel, White Raven's Cauldron. This evening I'm doing a reading for Cancer. So this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise and Venus sign, but cross watchers, you are welcome here as well. This is for the month of February. So there could be some energies here from the beginning of February, middle of February. All these energies just haven't come into play yet. You will know whether this information fits for you or not. Don't try and force it to fit. But I do suggest at the end of the month just coming back and reviewing the video for extra clarification. So what is coming towards Cancer, please, for the month of February? What is coming towards Cancer? Thank you, Spirit. What is coming towards Cancer? What is coming towards Cancer, please? Get some cards out on the table and then we'll jump straight into the reading. Dealing with a Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Taurus. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, Cancer. So, situation or challenge, we have got the High Priestess. So, there's a lot of you really sitting in your, your feelings right now. You're really sort of opened up to everything it almost feels like um there's been a life-changing event that's really got you opened up to spirit right now some of you may be having a lot of psychic downloads intuition your little spider senses going off because this card is talking about for some of you a knowing in regards to something there's something that you've got a feeling about and knowing but for whatever reason you're arguing with yourself about this now the advice from spirit is the fab of swords reversed now for some of you this could be you or someone you're dealing with but this is like someone's giving up the fight giving up they don't see the point in continuing with something this could be work a relationship Maybe there's been a lot of ups and downs and difficulties and someone's just basically saying, I've, I'm done, I've had enough, I don't, I don't want to continue with this anymore. They're not being fulfilled in this situation. But this could cause some drama, this five of swords reverse. This could cause some issues because it's almost like this person gives up too easily on things and... Your intuition's like something's telling you something feels off, something doesn't feel right. Like somebody's, I don't know, somebody's not got the priorities in place. They're not thinking properly. Because the five of swords reverse can also be somebody who just thinks about themselves. Now we've got judgment as an outcome from the advice. And this is all about karma, karmic debts, karmic rewards, things... Normally in the upright position, this brings about blessings, good luck, um, a change of events, things getting better. So even though this situation may be difficult and hard, it's saying that it's about to get better. And we've got the King of Cups. So this is a possible relationship, partnership with somebody who is, they do care very deeply. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person cares very deeply. Very, um, they act very mature beyond the years, and they are somewhat quite stable. But there's something that's been given up on here. Um, clarify the high priestess for cancer. Clarify the high priestess for cancer. The five of cups. So this is sadness, loss, depression. You've lost your way a bit with something. Cancer, you've lost your way. You may have received some bad news about something or somebody. Or there's something that you're incredibly disappointed about and you sort of had a feeling it was going to happen. 
there's been some telltale signs that you've maybe been you've known that the signs have been there but you've tried not to feed into it or ask about it because you didn't want to get into an argument but this has got you feeling insecure very very un insecure what's the five of swords reversed for cancer Swords reversed for Cancer. The Moon. <sighs> cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Again, the, somebody's not speaking. Somebody's not telling you something. They're keeping something to themselves. This is information being hidden. Someone's hiding information. Somebody's going to give up on something, but they've not told you yet. Or they've told you, but they've not told you the truth. Somebody's not telling the truth on something that they're giving up on. They're going to get some made-up story, possibly. Or they're going to say that it, was, it wasn't their fault. It was, it was beyond their... their um, what's the word I'm looking for? Spirit's putting a real mental block on me because of that high priestess. But it's out of their control. Someone's saying it, it wasn't their fault. It's out of their control. But they're not being entirely honest with something. Someone's keeping something under the belt. What's the judgment, please, for cancer? Clarify the judgment. The Knight of Swords. Hmm. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Information to do with authoritative people, government bodies, agencies. Again, this can be like a partner. And the, their emotions don't seem to be there over this concern. Somebody's emotions out there, they've been very matter-of-fact about things. It's almost like you can't have a conversation with this person. You're not allowed to have emotions. This, this is somebody who just shuts it off. And they think that they can make everything better. They think they can make everything all right. But that doesn't help the situation. That doesn't bring the information forward. This can be a person that tends to rush into things as well. It's the King of Cups. Clarify the King of Cups. Oh, four of coins reversed. So this is somebody who holds on to things from the past. Daydreaming. I'm feeling like somebody daydreams a lot. They seem to daydream that everything will be okay, that... And sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. There's too much daydreaming going on, but there's a lot of sadness here because somebody's giving up on something, but they're not telling the truth. And you know it. You know that they're not giving you the truth in a situation, but they're coming in with this information either way. They're not giving you an op option to question it. Can I have a final outcome for cancer, please? Strength. And a ten of coins, wow. So perseverance and strength will get you through because there's a there's a big reward at the end of this. It's just there is gonna be some unbalanced and um, heated exchange. This could be a heated exchange in regards to money. So yeah, could be dealing with a Capricorn, Sagittarius. Yeah, it's a heated exchange in regards to money. Somebody's responsibilities. Um, we've got the five of wands underneath. So this is major drama, arguments, fights. But the, the, this person has got a toxic personality, very argumentative. They've got like a personality disorder or drug dependency. And this person genuinely feels like they're sacrificing everything, but it feels pointless. Somebody feels like they're sacrificing everything, but it's not getting them anywhere. They're not getting any closer to success. And that's because they're wanting everything yesterday. This is somebody who isn't willing to, to work hard right now. They they feel they're taking on too much. There's too many sacrifices. You know, this is somebody who genuinely believes they don't have to work for things right now. Because, I, I don't know, it's... But it's negative communication, it's childish communication, and it is, it's in regards to money. Once upon a time, there was finances, there was money, and strength, and 
being able to push through but it's almost like i feel like somebody's getting worn down here someone's been worn down to the ground let's get a lemon reading please a lemon card for this tarot card spread for cancer mm, what someone's wanting to go in a new direction wanting to go in a new direction and they want happiness they do want happiness but they can talk the talk but they can't walk the walk this is someone who has control issues as well right now maybe they've got all the control in the situation and you're you're so you, you know you're a hard working person but for whatever reason you're locked up right now there's not a lot you can do hmm okay have an enchanted oracle please for cancer wow so the dragon's lair so this is this has been in, in a situation that you really don't want to be in it's saying that you have remarkable uh, you have a remarkable internal warning system and it lets you know when things are out of alignment you're about to enter this dangerous territory it's asking you to tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings the path you're on now is one that will challenge you right to the core that said Peril is also exciting and exhilarating, like the danger you feel before you enter a new relationship, knowing that you'll be changed forever. A life lived fully isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is now calling to you, and it's going to test your courage. That's why the strength's there. The choice is yours, but there is greater value in risk-taking than remaining unchallenged. New territories are waiting to be discovered. Just be careful. So I'm, I'm, I'm really seeing here that somebody's not being fully honest in regards to something. Um, they're, they're, they're wanting to give up on something. And this leaves you feeling unsafe, vulnerable. You know that they're maybe not telling you 100% the truth, but you just can't communicate with this person. It's almost like you're not allowed to communicate or they're just shut down. There's no communication. And it's, it's, they have a very, very controlling tendency. Like, they like to keep things under their control. Sort of like telling you one thing, but they're thinking another. Very, very confusing energy. And it is, it's in regards to money and stability. I think it's just a case of getting this month out of the way. We're in Mercury retrograde, so the energy, energies have gone to shit a bit. So I think it's a case of just riding this out and seeing where we get in March, seeing what happens in March. But right now, I think there's a lot of things going on that you're finding things difficult to um, entertain, comprehend, come to terms with. But with this key, the Ten of Coins and the High Priestess, things are going to get better, Cancer. It's just what you're dealing with right now. I'll leave the reading there. Let me know in the comment section if this resonates. Like, share, subscribe. Keep your kitchen witch happy by giving me a big thumbs up. And I'll see you all again soon.